Hello, truth seekers, and welcome back to our channel, where we unveil the shocking truth behind the glamorous world of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our channel, where we're back here again with another brutally honest takedown of everyone's least favorite professional victims, the Duke and Duchess of Sustenance themselves. And let me just say, if you think you've seen peak pettiness from these two before, you haven't seen anything yet because Harry's latest slap in the face towards his own cancer-stricken dad is a new low, even by modern monarchy menace standards. I'm talking, of course, about this insane hullabaloo over Prince Redhead's refusal to confirm attendance at an upcoming Invictus event in London, unless the UK government bends over backwards to cater to his every want and demand, specifically demanding full royal security and police protection that was previously stripped away when he decided to peace out of actual working royal life. But before we delve into the tumultuous waters of this revelation, if you haven't already, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. You won't want to miss the explosive content we have in store. So now let that sink in for a minute. King Charles is currently undergoing treatment for a serious health crisis that none of us would wish on our worst enemies, let alone family. And what's his prodigal son's response in this time of paternal need? essentially holding his majesty's government hostage with a nice sovereign you got there, be a shame if my appearance tanked nationwide morale, act of overt self-importance. I mean, could you imagine pulling something so brazenly self-absorbed towards your own sick parent, openly leveraging their fragile state and the public's desire to see them supported as a cynical bargaining chip for your own petty list of demands? It's a new level of ego-driven sociopathy that makes me question if Harry has any soul or self-awareness left at this point. And make no mistake, this brazen act of principled grandstanding clearly ruffled more than just a few musty royal plumages behind the palace walls, too. Because, according to reports, none other than Queen Consort Camilla herself has finally had enough of riding side saddle on the Sizzler X's perpetual pity rodeo and decided to put this foolishness to bed once and for all. Yes, that's right, gang. After riding a veritable high horse of dignified silence through the seemingly endless barrage of sanctimonious smears and race-baited publicity stunts thrown her way, the Duchess of Enduring It All has decided to lend her rarely heard voice to the narrative for once. Dishing out some long overdue, tough love candor on the matter of Harry's self-absorbed security debacle. Basically squashing the former senior royal's martyrdom act in one fell swoop of queen realness by reminding the world of some key, oft-overlooking context purposefully omitted from the grievance Olympics. Specifically, the fact that despite complaints of being unsupported and cast out into the cold, Harry and family have consistently been offered every reasonable royal accommodation imaginable, including security details at official events as needed. According to inside reports, Cam pulled absolutely zero punches in her sharp rebuke either. Not only affirming that Harry's book and documentary caused the royal family a great deal of hurt, but also declaring the security drama utterly intentional and seemingly engineered to promote the couple's victimhood narratives. In the immortal words of the great soldier boy, she told that princess, you are really pretty. Which, let's be honest, Queen Camilla has to be a leading authority on the careless damage inflicted by Harry and Meghan's scorched earth media campaigns by now, after being ruthlessly depicted as some sort of self-serving villain in the Duchess of Delusion's explosive debut memoir, while she kept a respectful silence. So, what do you think about this, guys? Sound off in the comments what you think and let me know. Until then, stay tuned for more shocking stories and scandalous exposés on our YouTube channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on the latest from the world of the royal family. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Bye for now.